And don't forget, free shipping on everything and 5% cash back if you sign up for our rewards program. Today, we were talking Trinity Exhaust, the industry leading stainless steel TIG welded two year warrantied piece of art. Roll that intro. That little piece of enjoyment is what it looks like after two rides with a light washing. We chose to shoot it before it was all shiny new because I'm gonna show you a new one on, on the other piece of the video. But we chose to do it on the machine that's been riding around so that you know what it actually comes out looking like after you have ridden it a little bit. So the dust and the dirt and you see here, yes, a lot of it comes off so you can see it. It will rub off. But we just hit it really quick with a hose so they give you an idea of what the stainless does after you ride it hard in mud and water and everything else. That's what it looks like. Um, if you look at the tip here, this was actually cleaned up a little bit better. So it does have that little bit of gold on it, but it does clean up real nice. Yep, all billet. See that? Made in America. Stainless steel springs. The entire unit is set up and built in the United States with stainless steel and the highest quality stuff. So I'm gonna flip this over, go to the studio so I can run down and show you some other stuff on it. All right, jump back in the studio. Got my American flag behind me since it's all made in America. But it's easier to walk kind of through some of this stuff here um, other than showing on the machine. Uh, you did get a scope on how it looks a little dirty all set up, but um, that gives you a perspective of how it goes with the heat of the tube and that and what you should expect when, when you're putting one on. Uh, we'll actually go through some sound setups here too throughout this video, allow you to hear it um, and what it does from an OEM turbo to um, the Trinity Stage 2 and then adding the quiet course to it, how much it, it moves the, the, the DBs around. It still keeps the same deeper growler, um, great sound that these do by opening up the, the air and that in there. Um, but it does get you into those areas that some people say you gotta stay under 100 dBs. Uh, with quiet cores, you're pretty much right at OEM um, after you put them in. But we'll show you through that here. Um, so in, in the package, you get everything. So you can choose uh, between just the slip-on mufflers, which will give you the mufflers, um, the, the pipe that'll go into your uh, head pipe, um, and then the spark arresters you can add on the quiet course. Um, or you can do the full system. So the big difference is the head pipe. This is the, the big difference that when you collect the whole system, um, you get all the pieces to go basically on a turbo model, you go exhaust all the way to the turbo, um, and then on the non-turbo you go right into the head, um, into the, to the back there. So uh, when you're looking at these, there's three different color options. Um, this is the black version, so everything's stainless except the outside of the muffler is black. Um, you can get the, um, the raw or aluminum look where this is all just raw, shiny uh, metal. And then you can get the Cerakote that'll Cerakote the whole setup. It'll all be black. So those are the three different color options. And then you have the two fitment options of do you want the full system or do you want the uh, slip-on. Um, so how these work, um, so you, you get the billet ends on there, you get the tips on there. These are adjustable once you loosen these four screws. Um, these four screws are important. You can see here, we took this one off to kind of show you. Yes, that is machine billet aluminum cap there with the stainless tube. Um, so we took it off of here for the reason to show you how these spark arresters and these um, quiet cores work. So they're actually designed with the inlets in there so that it holds these in, in place. So, um, so you put in your spark arrestor in the one. Um, if you don't want to run the quiet core, you can put that right back on and it just floats right over top of it and screws back tight. Um, and if you want to run the quiet core, you first you put the quiet core in and you hit the deeper indentation. So all these cutouts here, one's deeper than the other, so that it allows it to stack. So when you put it in there, put it in there, then you put the spark arrestor the opposite way, so it sits in there, into the top level, and then you can put the exhaust right over top of it. And then it sits flush. And then of course you can turn the pipe whatever which way you want it. 
but we wanted to kind of have that apart so you could see how these how these go together when you're looking at the quiet core um, and when you choose to purchase them or not um, I'm kind of getting this situated well here's here's a clip um, on a DB meter of the OEM turbo exhaust um, basically we set it to the standards of 20 inches away um, up to 4,000 rpms uh, 4,000 rpms is traditionally your reading point and then we just kind of rev it so you understand what it sounds like so roll it So you see there on the clip, you know, it got to right around 95 dBs is what kind of the average was. Um, and then of course it goes over 100 when you, when you rev it up. Um, cut this clip, I'll show you. So this is the one without these quiet cores. So it's just uh, the exhaust and the spark arresters. There's no quiet cores in it. Roll it. Okay, you can see there it was right around 98, 99, still technically under the 100 that some parks will limit you to, um, but it only gained, you know, five to six to eight dBs on there as it's moving around. Um, a lot of these are going to fluctuate between vehicles, the, the who's testing it, where it is, but this kind of gives you an idea that, you know, five to 10 dBs on average is what these will increase without the quiet core. Um, and then once you get into the quiet core, it should bring it down to original uh, OEM kind of area, you know, within three to five dB, you know, plus or minus. So it really does kind of keep it really close and safe to say they can run in most parks. Um, roll this one. So that one kind of bounced around a little bit, but you can see basically 93, 94, 95 is right where it got back in running both quiet cores. Um, yes, you can mix and match and run one quiet core in one and, and one and not in the other to kind of find your sweet spot, but it does get show you the flexibility of what the quiet cores do um, and how close to OEM it gets. You know, these are designed to be, you know, a deeper growl, lets the motor breathe, you know, it, it's all the pieces that um, help the performance uh, to increase performance, but also doesn't make it obnoxiously loud. It gets a nice deep growl. Um, it performs well. Um, it's all t these are all TIG welded. You can see all beautifully TIG welded. Um, and it's all 304 stainless. So it's the higher end corrosive capabilities that uh, out of stainless. Um, traditionally, there's two types of exhaust um, uh, stainless used. The 304 is the, the higher end um, protection that they do give you so you know you can see all the TIG welding in there all the pieces come with it the billet uh, assembly pieces the nameplate uh, everything it needs to swap out your exhaust um, like I said it's always free shipping 5% cash back in a rewards program so check that out um, if you got any questions let us know thanks